The end of the submarine, just coming into view. Looks like we might have the bow here. Sure, I like that. That's a nice view of the bow there we have uh, with the tow line. We're right up at the sail or the conning tower right now. Uh, the only thing you would encounter before that would be a passageway through that deck that would go down. So this is the area around that here. So there's a line there. Looking, you're coming up right now. You're right at the leading edge of that sail. We think that's a snorkel. We're not seeing the periscopes unless they would be forward. Uh, not seeing them. In fact, it looks like there's the holes for them that attach and come up because these had to be pressurized for so here's your access hatch and then you've got the cleft in between you've got where the periscopes would have been and then you've got the snorkel aft. But you've also got buffed right hand side are the aft stern stern torpedo tube. So those are the aft dive planes. Oh, I see that's horizontal. Gotcha. Yeah. You're diving on the USS Bugara, World War II submarine, which had a long and distinguished career and which was lost in tow during naval exercises. It was now Olympic Coast National Marine Sanctuary in 1971. We are passing over the deck now, just forward of the sail, or the conning tower, as it's known to many people ashore. What you're looking at is the hull of the submarine through the decking, which remains in place, a combination of steel plate, suspended on a, a superstructure over the main pressure hull. The teak decking here as well, which is now gone. You can see the outlines of where that deck was, and down below it, between the deck, and the pressure hull is the main part of the submarine. You know, one of the interesting questions is, uh, Jim and Frank, uh, he, um, is what, uh, why the submarine sank. It, it, it wasn't intended to sink in this location. The, the tug, Navy tug that was towing it I had to actually cut the tow to keep it uh, pulling them down with it. So it was definitely taking on water. There's been some theories that maybe there was an open hatch, uh, but we don't, haven't seen any, any sign of an open ha hatch as yet. Uh, I think another theory was it, it was taking water by the stern. To me, that might suggest uh, maybe a seal around the propeller shaft or something leaking, water kind of taking on there. Uh, we may, you know, so a lot of these things you may not be able to say absolutely why it sank, but you may be able to answer some reason why we think it didn't. But it, the expedition is still still young. We may see some evidence of why it actually uh, sank where it did. One of our scientists ashore has chimed in. Thank you, Tom. Most of the red rockfish are yellow eye rockfish. <laughs> 